Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows inflation rose to a 40-year high last month, with some of the biggest culprits, airline fares, gasoline, even lodging away from home, which rose close to 1% alone in May. Mike Summers with the New Hampshire Lodging and Restaurant Association says all of these factors are giving businesses no choice but to raise their prices. The cost of, of labor has increased uh, pretty dramatically in the last handful of months. Cost of food, wholesale food prices have gone up uh, anywhere between, you know, 7 and 10 percent uh, month over month. Everything has gone up, uh, but I think everybody expects it. Chuck Rage owns several properties over at Hampton Beach, including the Pelham Hotel. He says they've had to increase their rates a little bit because of inflation. The one good thing with Hampton Beach and the economy is good, Everybody does well. When the economy is bad, people still drive to Hampton Beach. We have 11 million people in driving distance, so people are going to vacation. They're going to enjoy their time. So this is a, a, an easy place to go. That's the case for Rosalind Fidelli, who comes up here every summer from Mass. I have my first fried o of the season and my first lobster roll of the season. But Rosalind says the cost of gas will cause them to scale back on other summer plans. You add that to the cost of the hotel or whatever else you're doing. It's, it's like the Red Sox and the Bruins tickets now and Celtics. You can't afford to take them, pay for them, and feed them while they're there. It's just so much money. But one thing to keep in mind about Hampton Beach is all of the free activities they've got going on. Like right here behind me, you can see they're getting ready for this year's sand sculpting competition that kicks off next weekend. Live from Hampton Beach, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.